Hey guys, what's up? Santa here, back with another video of Soccer Spirits. This is the guide. Um, this is part three. If you missed part one or part two, they will be in the description below. I'll have a link to them. Um, so from last time, I just wanted to apologize. Um, I said the only good PvP and PvP GKs other than Kai and Jin, and, I mean other than Black Tortoise and, and Jin. There is also Asilla. Asilla is also a very good PvP GK other than Kai. So, just wanted to say that. Well, today we will actually be finishing off the stone part. So, let's just get started. I mean, I think. I hope. <laughs> Should be able to record a bit longer this time. Um, so, I have a unique stone on Kai right now, Thousands Watchers. This is just for reflex, and my Wi-Fi is being crap apparently. This is just for reflex, and it's quite good because if you look at Kai's passives, he's all about just being a ball holder. Like his increases attack power power by 10% and decreased inflicted damage by 50% when attack. So basically, that means when he's holding the ball and someone tries to attack him. His attack power will increase, and the, oppo the opponent that tries to steal or just kill him will take more damage from doing so because he increases his attack power when he's attacked. <coughs> so that just helps with that. Um, these two, like I was saying, Kai pretty much needs these two stones to survive in PvE. Um, these stones aren't recommended for PvP, but Kai just needs these for PvE. Um, he needs these because it's the only way Kai can ble can just leech off of leech because Kai, unlike other PVE GKs out there, like um, let me show you Zebrori right here. He doesn't like Zebrori recovers his HP percent by 15 percent when he's attacked. He's the one of the strongest PVE GKs out there. Um, he just doesn't die. He's a freaking zombie. Kai, however, on the other hand, isn't he may he may take literally like no damage because he stacks decrease inflicted damage so well and PVE opponents just don't have a lot of penetration power. Penetration power negates decrease inflicted damage if I hasn't if I haven't said that already. Because of that, he, he even though he takes little damage, he still takes damage. He's gonna die eventually. So that's why he needs these stones. So he crits, he does a lot of damage, and he heals. And then this is just a reflex stone. Just, you know, because I don't want to be cheesed by Ravian. This is Ravian, pretty much the most broken striker in the game right now. Why? Gravity down. Increases 20% each damage to the ent entire enemy team. So that's minus 20% of your HP in the entire freaking team. That's the most annoying thing. She's not, she's a bit innocent right now, but once she evolves, her spawn gets another turn with an attack, increases, and in, yeah, just, it's the first part, just gets another turn with the attack, that's the most, just, most brutal thing. Like, you can build your Ravian to have so much reflex that, you know, spawn, right after she shoots, negative 20% of my HP is gone, she can steal the ball again, just keep shooting, because in front line, here's, here's a part of the mechanics, if you reflex someone, you steal the ball, right? Or just counterattack him, just get the ball. But in front line, if you steal from someone, you actually get another turn. So if it's a legit reflex, you steal from someone. If you kill the guy or just damage them or fail, you won't get another turn. But if you actually reflex them and just steal from them, you can get another turn. Um, I can. I think I should be able to show that off, actually, since my ne Nerazil has a good bit of reflex. Um... Killed everyone here. Let's fight some tough people. Why not? Um, do you know me, Momo Galax? Eh, I'll take this guy. Alright, alright. Semis and semis, semis and semis. So, you know, usual Kai GK. Michael. Nothing too impressive. Char is master perp. Char is pretty much the uh, second strongest GK. I mean, GK. Striker in the game at the moment. She's just very powerful, like extreme and crit rate. This attack, flinging storm, it's just amazing. It's just brutal. Um, no, I shouldn't be trying on this team because they have, um, I don't know, some. They have counter attack resist, that's right. They have counter attack resist in their front. So does this one. Ah, everyone has a Neruda, but not me. I feel like I'm pronouncing that name wrong again. So sorry, so sorry guys, so sorry. 
Yeah, screw it, I'll just do it. I'm not, I don't really fear of losing. I don't lose that much. I mean, there are occasional times where I lose, but I really don't lose much in arena, so it doesn't really matter to me. Alright, I don't even have a streak anyhow, so I don't care. It's my ball, you know. Just do my usual stuff. So Elizabeth's the leader, as you can see, her she has a high amount of reflex. Elizabeth is actually the player that helps you in the Coliseum of Despair. You can get her by chance from champion drops. She's actually pretty underrated. Everyone hates her in the Coliseum because her, the Coliseum version of her is just so crappy. She actually got buffed in this re recent major update because she was just being so bad. Um, so she's, but once you mess, if you get her from champs, from like Colo, just Coliseum champions, you know, from drops, um, if ma Max Superb her, she has, she actually has a lot of reflex and is a good ball holder. She has, a, she has a nice amount of decrease inflict damage and everything, so. Probably get, get, get killed here. Let's see, let's go for it, why not? Go low. Crap, I might one-hit KO them. Dang it, still, oh, you're so weak, I might one-hit KO you. Okay, good. I didn't crit. As you can see, I did 1k damage to Lime Bell, and only 600 damage to Scylla. That's why critting is very important in this game. I should be able to reflex him. Oh, come on, that's stupid, man. I have a lot of reflex. Now I re- That's beautiful, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But you basically get the idea. Had I stolen from Leia over there, Leia over there with Narazil, I would have gotten another turn to attack. I would have gotten another turn to do something. I could have attacked, I could have passed, I could have had another turn to do something. So that's pretty much, you know, the why Ravian's so OP. Like, she can... Crap, I forgot to say disclaimer. My pronunciation of player's name sucks, so... Probably said Ravian wrong in a lot of other names. Lime Bell, Nerezo, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, but, you know, it's just... I don't know. It's just something I'm not good at. But you get, basically should get the idea of that. Um, I should be showing you, so... Now, back to Kai's stones. You know, Kai is Kai. He's special. You know, in PvE, he needs his stones. In PvE, everyone else, every other GK has different stones, you know. But if you're going for PvE, PvP, you should have stones similar to my Black Tortoise right here. Just crit resist and everything. Um, sc a fast scuttle circle, increase action speed, and critical resist. Um, I actually like this stone a lot because it gives 26% crit resist, which is pretty nice. Um, you can't, you can never go wrong. You can, Actually, in the prism slots right here. Um, let me show you, I don't think I have any, I wanted to show it off, but, actually yeah, I can just show off, it's from one, like you see that lock slot right there, it's the prism slot, once you, once someone is a 6 star, 6 star, once someone is in 6 star form, you can just equip whatever color of, of the stone you want, otherwise usually you have to obey colors like, like, Veronica here, you know, you know, that's, it must be a white. You cannot equip any other, other color stone. I'll explain all that once I get to the spirit stone part, but pretty much, pretty much in a PvP GK, you want crit resist, you know, crit resist HP. Red reflex is always good. Reflex stones are always good because Ravian's still a big thing right now in PvP. She got nerfed in PvE with the gins and everything that recovered 30% HP whenever attacked. It's kind of stupid in my case. I mean, there's, I mean, it's not stupid to overall because there's still 12 people that beat freaking floor 50 right after it got buffed. But you know, you know what I'm basically saying here. Red reflex also gives red reflex, which is, which also gives crit resist. So that's another reason to have it. Um, in Prism Slot, I would usually go with, you know, that. So basically, you've covered all the stones that you, uh, uh, just, you know, every type of player should have, you know. The subsets of the stone, it can be good, it can be bad. Like, the subsets of this stone is offensive. Dribble, penetration power, receive, pass effect, decrease inflicted damage by 6, 1%. It's all offensive. 
you want these on your attackers and everything. They're all offensive. But for, you know, people like Black Tortoise, who's a defender, who don't, who doesn't do much, you want, you know, you want crit resist, increased critical resist, but resistance by 4%. You want these kind of substats. Alright, I'm just going to do a quick demo of, of Kai and his leeching power right here, so don't mind me. Just going to do a quick demo of it. I can probably be hell mode right now, actually. I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna take some random person, I guess. I don't care. I just I want to one hit kill them. Actually, I don't know. Whatever. I'll just I'll take Elaine. Elaine is also the most broken totem in the game right now. Just she has she's just amazing. Like she she's just amazing. <laughs> Like, if you understood what I talked about, you know, passives and everything, and you see Elaine's... Oh, crap. Wrong team. Dang, wrong team. Um, I'll have to quit this match. Next show, I won't quit. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm just going to quit this match. I really don't want to waste any ST, so I should be able to clear this match pretty easily. I mean, this is just my... I don't know. <laughs> In story mode, players usually don't have a lot of reflex, so if you are ever having trouble trying to beat story mode, just build a lot of reflex. You can usually beat the story mode then, because they do damage, and they have a lot of HP, but they actually, no, screw that. I might actually die. I don't know, Black Tortoise doesn't, there's only one superb, like I said. She's not as viable as Kai at the moment, although she will be better than Kai in PvP. She's Black Tortoise is pretty beast in PvE too, as long as you keep her HP up. Well, that's a draw. Dang it. Alright, let's try again, shall we? Um, let me just explain. This This is actually my PvE Colo formation. Um, just Colosseum of Despair High Floors formation. I have Yuri the Tone. Dang it. I have Yuri the Tonum here, just, you know, with, that's increased attack power of imposition by 14%, pass effect by 35%, pass effect by 30%, just all about the damage output that I'm putting out there, and then I, I have a Kyrio in the middle here, just with his catalysm, just, he's just, just with ignition catalyst, you know, he's there to blow a path straight to the front line. Um, and then I have reflex buffers on both sides, you know, to keep Kyrio with his reflex stuff, because Kyrio is considered one of the worst, is considered more or less the worst legendary at the moment, just because he has literally no reflex at all. Um, I have Zabrori here, just for the blood sucking. He recovers your HP by 15% of the inflicted damage within the position. So it's how much damage you do, basically. Let's start the match. Hopefully they can get to my back line so I can show you guys Kai. If not, well, I don't care. Oh crap, it's in my ball. I hope I don't actually get win this. But this is basically what I do, you know, just kill him right there, hurt him as much as I can. I don't think I should be able to kill him, so that's a good thing. Because I don't want to kill him. <laughs> so Kyrie should get killed right now, I hope. Yeah, he's going to get killed right here. But it, I did do a lot of damage to the opponent, so that's a good thing. So as you can see, Kai has a base, you know, his decreased inflicted damage just stacks it higher and higher. I don't care about my block. He just takes little less. He takes literally no damage. As you can see, he only took 40 damage there, and he recovered, recovered about 100 HP with the crit light stones with his his stones, and then another 100 HP from the blood sucking. He does a lot of damage, and he takes literally no damage in return. He's you would think that he's really good, but he's not that all that good because. Some penetration power can just melt him. Like I said, penetration power negates decrease afflicted damage. So it just melts him. I'm just gonna do an active heal to recover the action bar of my team so I can just one hit KO them when I'm ready. You know, I just did 40 da I did 700 damage to him and I did 40 damage to myself and I recovered all of my damage, HP, damage back. 
And when they attack you, I take a bit more damage, but I still keep my HP just full up just because I'm just that OP. So, you know, now that I have a clean path, I can just easily bowl straight to front. Oh, man. Dang it. I don't want to pass Nero's Hill first. I want to pass with Elaine first. Whatever. It doesn't really matter, I guess. I guess sick. Oh, whatever. Just did like a. That was like 3k, I think. I don't know. So they have no reflex. I should be able to steal from them later, but I can't steal from from now. Right. Ooh, I'm actually kind of scared. The story mode usually isn't either. Easy one. See, I got, I got reflex. And now it should be easy games from here. Because he is negative 600, 6, 64 percent decrease in flex damage, so you do 64 percent more damage to them. Um, can I do this? I don't know. No, if I can, I don't want to risk it. Nope, rip my life. Oh, it doesn't matter, I can still probably body their midfield. With reflex. Um, 600, 900, I'm going to use an active just to increase my reflex. And fail, to, and fail obviously. Nope. I actually just got Victoria today, so that's pretty sweet. She has a very good skill. Um, she increases reflex in within the position by 50%. That is very high, so it's very good. Alright, come on now. Stop selling time. There are times where Kai doesn't crit, though, and that's why I have bullets sucking on on the line just because he doesn't crit sometimes like he just didn't crit for twice in a row he takes still takes literally no damage but if we're talking about Colosseum of Despair two times could mean death like he could take that much damage the people in Colosseum the players in Colosseum and Despair is pretty much the match I'm playing right now but with a little bit more HP and more reflex and pen power and just crit damage and crit rage just everything that you ever feared That was a lot of points, 990k points. Got a crappy 3 star stone for it and a lot of XP. Alright. No. So we're at 18 minutes right now. Oh, nice. I can have made that go fade away. So you guys pretty much saw that first handed that Kai just you know he needs him to survive because he will eventually die if he does not have that so yeah One second All right, I'm back sorry about that just had to do something real quick All right, so I guess we could talk about the game mechanics next or next I guess um, why not let's go So let's just do a quick you know match um, I'll see a match, why not? I don't care, I don't know. Random match, why not? Um, just random match. Because I'll probably teach you the game mechanics here. Alright, so, you know, this is the guide. Self-explanatory, the higher reaction speed, the faster your bar fills up. Once your bar is max, you will get the churn. Regardless of who it has the ball, you get to, you get a churn to steal. You get unless, like, unless, you know, it should explain somewhere here. Yep, when the opponent has the ball, what the heck? What? This makes no sense. But yeah, steal, you know, competes against the facing opponent. Block, you skip your churn. And you lower their speed, like you lower their bar. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Um, so basically, if like there's three cards right now, 
There's three cards like right now. Like the dark element player in the middle. If he had the, I mean, like the right element, right dark. No, that's not right. Right will work. Yeah, right dark element player that has the ball. The first, the the right and the middle light element players will be able to attack the dark player. But the final light player on the left will not be able to attack the dark, the right dark element play element player because they are not in range. You know, active skills for each player. You know, spirit bars. You know, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. This is just a bunch of stuff counterattack affected by technique and speed. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, the shows the element tail right there. Wind is strong against thunder, thunder is strong against light, dark, light is strong against dark, dark is strong against ardor, and just goes in an endless cycle. That's why there are certain mono teams out there. Mono teams are just teams of all one color. Yeah, that's pretty much about it, honestly. Yeah. So now let's just hurry up and finish this match. This is this is the info page that shows everyone's action bars. This is going to be pretty important to you when you do higher floor coliseum because in higher floor coliseum it's all about strategy i will be doing a complex guide on coliseum in the future so don't worry so don't worry about that right now Oh man, it's like recording for 21 minutes. Not bad. I should have taken. Let's see here. When else should I say next? Ah, that's right. I should probably start talking about formations. Yes. One second. Let me get a drink of water. So formations, um, PVP formations. Uh, PVP formations have all has always been my thing. You know, I I love PVP. It's what gets my, you know, blood racing in the leagues and stuff. So usually on a on a good team, on an end game team, you only want one striker. That one striker will be in the front line, of course. Just one striker anywhere in the front. Uh, getting a good front line. Let's just it down in lines. A good front line has one striker, one totem, and one assist. Those are the minimum. There has been four four, four man totems, four man fronts out there. Um, you can decide how many players. You can have up to a five man back line, a four man mid, or a four man front. You decide that by get out of here. Uh, you decide that by where you put your support player. Right now, my support player, Eden, because she's amazing with her Oracle's will. The action speed is just wonderful. And, you know, protective formation is pretty good, too. So that's pretty much about it. In a f in a, but you need at least these three components in an endgame front line. There, I have seen players out there with um, only no totem, with no totems, with no totems at all in their front line. But, you know, as long as they, have, that's not my problem. As long as they have the crit rate to support their strikers, it's fine. Like, they know what they're doing. It's an end game. It's, they're all high level. They know what they're doing. And if, they, if it's not working, they'll change it. But main, but basically main front lines pretty much all have a totem, a striker, and assists. It's usually all. It's usually a three-man front. There's there's pretty rarely four-man fronts. Four-man mi mids. Um, mids. You pretty much always want a tanky CM. So basically, a ball holder, someone who's not gonna die, and like a few hits. Um, I can go demonstrate that right now. Oops. I would love this package, but I don't have any money. I'm broke. If I can find a higher rank level player in here, I should be able to demonstrate it. Ooh, this one. SS. Alright, let's. You guys ready to get, see my ass get kicked? I mean, if it's my ball, of course. Like, oh god, no. It's Blade. Blade has penetration power. Luga gives penetration power with her active. My guy's gonna die. 
I hope it's my ball so I can show you guys what a ball holder means, like, you know. Um, let's just go, I guess. I mean, why not? Hopefully it's my ball. If it's not my ball, well, I don't care. I mean, I'll just describe it. It's not a big deal, so. <sighs> nope, it's their ball. I just noticed that every single one of their players are six star. Every single one of them. Jeez, that is a mo That's almost a moment and thunder. That Heliard Guard's gonna wreck my day. Oh man, a Heliard Guard with Metatron's wheel. That's such a good sound for a Heliard Guard. <laughs> Guys, don't feel bad if I get one shot, because I probably will. I should probably talk about blocks, but yeah, it's good. Go, Kyrie, go, do not get reflexed. Whatever you do, good job. Go, Kyrie. Oh. Body every single one of them. How much reflex do you have? Okay, I should be I shouldn't be able to get reflexed. Sweet. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm scared. I'll admit it, man. I'm very scared. Whatever. Shoot. Just do it. Just do it. Like she has said, just do it. My reflex is my best friend here. Like, if I can reflex them. You saw that right there. So, if you reflex someone in front line, you get another turn. Right now, reflex is my best friend. So, I'll screw you for using your block. Almost dead. Come on. Oh, great. I can reflex this. I can reflex this. Oh, my God. I'm going to win this match because of reflex. Go, go, go. Crit. You freaking A. You got to be kidding me, man. Okay, it's over. Unless I reflex this, it's over. Which I have a very low chance to do because the difference is pretty low. And now it's pretty much over because I can't move fast enough. Like, I can't beat them in speed. I mean, what do you mean? I can't, I, I can't beat their midfield and I'm going to get one shot the next time they shoot. Unless I can somehow reflex this. I did it. Oh, I did it. Uh, well, Nerezo still has to take a, take a hit, though, so I don't know. Dang. Tough luck, I guess. I mean, it's tough luck. I can stall time for Eden. Go, 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 kill him or reflex him. Dang it. Well, it's over. I mean, unless AI, dumb AI strikes, which it decided to do, but it's, you know, it didn't make much of a difference. I'm still going to die. 60 HP, Jesus. <laughs> Go! Come on, let me be fast enough for this. Alright, All right, I should be able to be fine, I hope. Go, go, go. I should be able to kill him. Oh, GG. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Oh my god. That was, that's, that's GG, man. That's GG. You guys can see why crit resist. Why crit, it's, you know, just crit resist is so important now. I did no damage to them. When I crit, I did so much damage, but I just didn't do any damage this time around. And now I lost. I mean, I wasn't planning to win, so it's not nothing to, you know. But you guys saw what I was, well, you guys technically didn't see because I was, it wasn't my ball, but basically a ball holder, what you want in center mid, like a center mid player is the player that starts off with the ball if it's your ball. So if it's your ball, you start off with the ball, yes, but the one that carries the ball is usually the center mid player. Um, let me just, should I find another match? 
I don't know. But yeah, I'll just scream it. That was a close match, though. I hope you guys enjoy that. I definitely did. I like close matches like that. So, like Elizabeth, she's a tanky player. She can take up to one to two hits before she dies. But before, unless their speed is, unless they're super fast, by by one to two hits later, it's my turn. I can pass the Duke, and Duke can penetrate to the front. Basically, that's basically what I'm saying here. Um, so a midline has a ball holder, a CM. The ledge, the two strongest ball holders right now that I know is the legendary player Metatron and the Thunder Boss Jiri, I think, I believe. I know Metatron's the number one. Metatron's the number one just because of the fact that she's pure OP. She's one of the most broken players. Let me just look at that skill. Recovers the team HP and action bar by 15% when attacked. The HP part really doesn't matter because if you guys haven't noticed, in PvP, all healing effects are nerfed by 75%. But that action bar recovery is just brutal. Speed is really important. As you can see on my as you can see in the previous match, had I been faster, maybe I could have gotten two shots off and I would have won. Speed is that important, so that's why people hate Metatron and love Metatron so much. She can change the pace of a game. She can change the outcome of a game in a with one Angel's Light stack. She can change the entire game, and that's also why the legend Beth is adore so much because Beth's active, Max active is recovers team's action by by forty percent. She ruins people's games. So yeah. Otherwise, there's uh, she also has a really insane debuff, decreases max HP of enemies and reflex by 30%, which is pretty sweet. Plus, her Devil's Whisper is also really good, you know. So, Metatron's the go-to C center mid you want, the go-to. Um, the other one, I don't have a friend of, so I can't really show that one, but it's in the book. You can always go look in the book for players. You can look up skills. I mean, it's only the pre-evolved ones. I mean, unless they have a, a extreme evolved, then form, then you can probably check out all their upgraded skills and everything. Wait, oops, wrong one. Jury is a special card, actually, so that's kind of weird. But hey, there's Shiri. Um, she's really good because, um, you know, flip the table. Inflects 15% HP damage to the enemies within the position when she's attacked. She's pretty tanky. She can she can get a lot of reflex from this skill passive right here, you know. And defending the position, enemies that attack her take a pretty good amount of damage. So that's pretty good. She's pretty amazing. I love her. I hope she comes back. She's a boss. She's actually a boss. She's more or less one of, I would say, the best boss out there. The current boss that's on right now is Vayne, I think, has Vayne. She's a pretty bad boss, like, she's a pretty bad striker. Alright, now let's go back to our, let's go to our mid. So, there's that, you know, those are, those are some ball holders out there. There's also more ball holders, like, Princess Moretti can be a ball holder. Just because she has fantastic operation, which is decreased inflicted damage by 30%. Pretty much just anyone tanky, you know? After that, you want, you want at least one attacker in mid, and pretty much just only one attacker in mid. It's just because, you know, it's, attackers are attackers, they pierce through the line like you saw with Kyrie in that previous match I'm, I'm actually pretty happy I did that previous match now it showed a lot of things um just he just bodies you know he just created a straight clean line as long as Kyrie do, and as long as your attackers don't get reflex which most of them probably will sooner or later because most attackers start off with pretty bad reflex you have to buff them quite a bit in order to get decent reflex that might still get counterattacked because you know, other opponents with like Metatron and other stuff, they're defenders. They already start off with high reflex, so of course, once you're maxed out and buffed, they have even more reflex, you know? How much have I been going for? 34 minutes. Nice. Um, so pretty much that's about it. Like, well, not about it. <laughs> not like to the end of the video, but yeah, you definitely want at least one attacker in mid, you know, like Michael or something. It'll work. 
Of course you want to butter them up with a decent amount of reflex or else they will get reflexed by the enemies. Last but not least, you probably, like, I don't know, want a stealer on midfield, like, a buffer or a stealer, like, um, uh, let's see, get out of here, man. I think I might actually have to stop the video soon, I have to go, I have to go soon, you know, I think I'll end it here, I'll, I'll, I'll finish this quickly, so it's like a buffer, you know, like, um, pressure strategy, like a tonum buffer, Jeez, you're everywhere mobile's in. Go down there. Like, you want a buffer? Like, I have Kuiyu, just because that's her posi recommended position. You know, she she can steal. Like, she has, you know, Robin Leaf, decreases reflex. She can steal. Plus, I want her for her ace. Her ace is, you know, um... One second. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, I have to go soon. But yeah, she can steal, you know... She can steal, she she has, I'd use her for ace, just because I'm mainly whirlwind, like I said before. Otherwise, you pretty much want to steal her. A front passer will work, like a forward passer like Lee May. Sammy's a pretty popular choice, but now I have to switch Duke and Sammy around, because Sammy's recommended position is where Duke is. And that's pretty much about it for your midfield, honestly. Like, you can create four-man mids, more leaders, 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 attackers, and just defenders are the most common type of people you will see in a in a mid. You know, defenders, who are, there are some defenders like Eden who can steal and just buff really, really well. There are leaders, you know, just ball holders and everything. But yeah, that's about it for part three of um, Soccer Spirits The Guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if I forgot anything that you would like to mention, just please comment down below. Um, if you're talking about spirit stones, I'll probably cover that sooner or later. Um, this is, I'll probably just, look, I don't know. But, yeah, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.